Hey everyone, and at this time in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to stop your iPad from receiving your phone calls. And there are two approaches or two reasons why it may be happening. It could be because of your FaceTime being enabled on your iPad or because of the phone calls forwarding. If you would like to disable the FaceTime phone calls or video calls, then you are supposed to disable it on your iPad in the FaceTime settings. So just open up the settings and navigate to the FaceTime section. And there you should see like the main toggle, which is going to disable the FaceTime altogether on your iPad. And this is going to make sure that you will not ever receive any phone calls or video calls that are like connected with your FaceTime. You can, for example, even change the Apple ID or just log out altogether to completely disconnect it from the network of your messages and phone calls and all of that. But the second approach or the second thing I was talking about, well, in case you have an iPhone and you probably do with the SIM card in it, then you're not only receiving the FaceTime internet calls, but also regular cell phone calls. And in order to disable it, well, you cannot really disable it on the iPhone, but in order to disable the forwarding and making the iPad ring when your iPhone rings in the same section on your iPad in the FaceTime settings, there is one more thing that you are supposed to disable as well. And it is right under the FaceTime. So you can see there is calls from iPhone. And if that is enabled, what it does is that it simply makes sure that all of the phone calls, then everything that you do receive on your iPhone will also be transmitted to the iPad and your iPad starts ringing at the very same time. So yes, you can use your iPhone cellular account and to make and receive phone calls with your iPhone, but it has to be nearby. But there are also some other settings that you may consider changing. For example, the incoming calls notifications can be changed and modified. Like you cannot even like you can make sure that you disable the notifications altogether. Or for example, when it comes to incoming calls, maybe you have it set to full screen and maybe that's annoying to you that it just takes up the entire screen. So you can change it just to banner. So you can just disable the notification of a phone call and continue doing what you were doing before. So uh, the only option is not to just disable it altogether or to forbid the phone calls on for happening on uh, the iPad and just customize and tweak things a little bit. But besides that, this is how you can disable it. And I do not think that there is anything else what you should know about it because it's really that simple. And when you do this, you're going to prevent your iPhone, um, I mean, your iPad from ringing again when your phone rings. So this is exactly how it works. And hopefully I helped you with this video in case you are just looking for a quick fix or like a quick solution. Hopefully I provided that to you. I don't want to talk about some things which is trivial like this for a very long time. So I would say that this is pretty much it. I also want to say that if you're new here, you can subscribe so you don't miss future uploads and future videos like you know what type of videos I upload and what things I tend to talk about. So if you're interested in that, you want those type of videos to show up on your YouTube page, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. And we can see each other in the future uploads. You can also leave a thumbs up to support me or leave a comment saying pretty much whatever you want. I will most likely reply to you because that's what I'm trying to do recently. So like I said, leave something nice in the comments and we can see each other in the future. Have a great rest of the day.